welcome to Potion Commotion. This potion is our fizzy fountain. And here are all the things that you'll need. You'll need a glass jar. You'll need some vinegar, uh, just regular white vinegar. You'll need baking soda. And uh, glitter is completely optional. You want to have it. You'll need a couple of colors of food coloring. Uh, you will need some plastic containers, just two or three maybe, and a spoon, and maybe a stirring knife or something to stir around with. Okay, so let me move some of these things off of my tray. This potion is going to fizz out of the jar, so you'll want to make sure that you have a tray for this. Maybe even some towels put down. Just whatever you can do to keep things tidy as you mix and concoct your potion. All right, step one. We are going to fill the jar halfway full with our vinegar. Here we go. That's about halfway. It doesn't have to be exact. Oh, and then we're also going to pour a tablespoon of vinegar each into our plastic container. And that's, I'm using a real tablespoon, but if you just have your regular spoon, you can just kind of guesstimate just a little bit in there. You're gonna use these later to help change the colors. So now we're going to add a few drops of color to the jar. I'm gonna go with blue. And then we're gonna add a couple other colors to the containers. And you're gonna use the containers later to do a fun color changer. So I'm gonna do red in one, and maybe let's do yellow in the other. So we can stir that around a little bit. And maybe these better not be on the tray once it starts fizzing, right? Okay, let's stir our color up here. Looks pretty, huh? Now, this is the point where we can add some glitter if you want to. It won't change anything about the potion if you don't have glitter. But we can add a little bit in there. Because that looks pretty. Okay, let's see what our next step is. All right, now we are going to squeeze some dish soap into the jar. Just, just some, it doesn't have to be a lot. And we're gonna stir that up. See how it's starting to get a little bit cloudy looking? Yeah, there you go. Okay, what's next? Now, okay, now this is the fun part. This is the part, and I'm gonna wipe off my tablespoon before I use it in the baking soda. Once we add the baking soda to the vinegar, we're gonna see something exciting. Ready? So this is just a big teaspoonful at a time, and you just keep adding it. And there it goes starting to rise up. Now we can stir and it's foaming over. It's overflowing. Look at that. And it keeps going and going. You can kind of see the gold sparkles and it's just an ongoing fountain. Now for some fun, let's change the color. Let's add some color changing and you stir it. Now it's getting red. Maybe we should have done more color, huh? There it goes. It's still going. It's still going. All right, here we go. Here's some yellow. There's some yellow. Here it goes. It's still going. That's right. Here we go. So let me explain this a little bit. The baking soda and the vinegar create an acid-base reaction. The two chemicals work together to create a gas. 
and the gas they made is carbon dioxide. So the gases need a lot of room and that's why it just spread out. And so since we didn't contain it with a lid or anything, it just kept going and going and popping over the side of the jar. All right, and that's our fizzy fountain. So you can, I think, let's see, what if we added a little bit more baking soda, would it keep fizzing? Let's see if it does. Yeah, and if we added a little more vinegar to that, There it goes, it's fizzing again. And now we can see the yellow that we added earlier. And that is our experiment. I hope you had fun making your own fizzy fountain.